Welcome back, everyone. It's time again to ask the attorney, Attorney Gilbert Adams, here to answer some of our viewers' legal questions. Yep. Thank you so much for joining Thanks us. For you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Question number one: Can I still carry a pistol in my truck, even if I do not have a concealed carry license? I know that's a question a lot of people have, especially in this area. Well, the legislature is changing the law as we speak about this. But a few years ago, the Motorist Protection Act was passed by the legislature, and what they said was, yes, Texas motorist, as long as it's legal for you to have a gun, as long as it's concealed. Uh, you can carry a gun in your vehicle. It must be concealed. Right. And that was a big change in the law. Without, and you do not need a concealed carry license. So what does the concealed carry license actually give you if well, you go that, through that whole process? If you go through that whole process, that will just about allow you to carry the pistol anywhere. Except, mm. and, and again, that's being debated right now in the legislature, but in the past it's been except for if a business owner posts a sign, says we don't want you carrying a weapon in sure. here, then you can't do it. In schools and churches, maybe, but they're, they're deciding this right now as we speak. Okay, so we'll have to keep tuned to that. Question number two, I was eating a salad at a restaurant in Beaumont, and my lip was cut and tooth broke because there were two pieces of glass in my salad. Are they required to pay my medical bills? Well, absolutely. Uh, the food that you buy from a store, from a restaurant, is considered a product, and that seller is liable for any damages that the food causes. Uh, it's got to be found to be an unreasonably dangerous mm -hmm. product. So the biggest issue sometimes with these is proof. You have the burden of proof, the, the injured person, and so make sure you, you keep the uh, adulterated food that caused the injury or damage. And if so, yes, that will be a big help. All right, and last, my boss came into work yesterday in a bad mood and fired me. I've worked for this company for 13 years, and I didn't do anything wrong. He was just in a bad mood. Is there anything I can do? It depends. In Texas, uh, the general rule is if you don't have a contract and you don't have a, a collective bargaining agreement like a union, sure. then uh, Texas is an employment at will state, meaning there's not anything you can do for being fired for any reason. Now. You may be able to go and get uh, collect your unemployment for a brief period of time as long as you weren't fired for cause. But as far as your employer, he or she or it is entitled to uh, fire you for no reason, good reason, bad reason, any reason. Right. That's not, the law yeah, not good news there. And of course, if you have any legal questions you'd like answered, you can email at asktheattorney at fox4beaumont.com. Of course, you can also call the law offices of Gilbert Adams at 835-3000 for any legal questions.